today we take you on a journey through the challenges and triumphs of a patient battling a corneal ulcer. Meet Durai Swami, a farmer who has been experiencing redness and excruciating pain in his left eye for the past three days. Determined to help him, a team of experts springs into action. The doctor carefully examines the patient's left eye using a slit lamp. It allows us to visualize the condition and understand the severity of the corneal ulcer. The doctor explains to the farmer that he has a corneal ulcer and further tests are necessary to determine the underlying cause. With utmost precision, a scraping procedure is performed to gather samples for evaluation. The samples are sent to laboratory for testing. Various assessments including sugar levels and some blood tests are conducted to gather crucial information about the patient's condition. After a period of anticipation, the results are in. The doctor reviews the findings and discusses a treatment plan based on the specific characteristics of Durai Swami's corneal ulcer. Through weeks of diligent follow-ups, the farmer's pain gradually subsides and the corneal ulcer starts to heal. Durai Swami, now filled with relief, returns home happy and satisfied. Let's dive deeper into the understanding of corneal ulcers. What is a cornea? Cornea is the transparent front part of your eye when you see an eyeball. It is responsible for 60% of your vision. Any loss of transparency of the cornea can cause defect in vision. So what is a corneal ulcer? It is also known as keratitis. It is caused by infection to the cornea due to any harmful organisms which invade it. So what can cause a corneal ulcer? Any injury to the eye due to fall of foreign bodies such as dust particles or insects, any scratches on the eye surface, severe dry eye, inability to close your eyelid due to any nerve-related palsies or improper use of steroid eye drops can cause corneal ulcers. What are the symptoms of corneal ulcer? It can present as redness, pain, foreign body sensation, watering or discharge from your eyes, increased light sensitivity and blurring of vision. So what are the types of corneal ulcers? It can either be infectious or non-infectious. Infectious causes can be either due to bacteria, viruses or fungi. Non-infectious causes can be due to peripheral ulcerative keratitis or marginal keratitis. If you notice any of these symptoms or any abnormality in the eye, it is crucial to seek immediate medical attention from an eye doctor. What are the precautions you can take if you are diagnosed with a corneal ulcer? First of all, avoid rubbing your eyes. Use proper eye medications as advised by your eye doctor. Do not use any over-the-counter medications. Do not take bath in a pond or a river. Always wear protective glasses. Do not wear contact lenses when you have a corneal ulcer. And most important of all, go for regular follow-ups as advised by your eye doctor. Every corneal ulcer is unique and requires specific treatment. Any delay in diagnosis or improper treatment can lead to further worsening and complications. Even your eyesight can be lost. So how do we as doctors treat corneal ulcers? When we see an ulcer, we see the size of the ulcer, the location of the ulcer, how deep the ulcer is, what is the duration of the ulcer, what was the cause of the ulcer, any systemic illness if you have such as diabetes, all these factors are considered and then the treatment is tailored accordingly. If your ulcer is unresponsive to maximal medical therapy, further surgical treatment may be required. Always remember, corneal ulcer should be treated as a medical emergency. Without treatment, the ulcer can spread to whole of your eye. Always consult an eye doctor, use proper medications as advised and go for regular follow-ups.